wherever you are the fact is when you're out of your teens i'll be the great mom again and while you're in the teens i'm going to be that mom that you just love imagine the disappointment she will face and she realizes if my personality doesn't change in my 20s imagine just imagine imagine, the imagine disappointment she will face ever since i was watching this thing Wait until you're twenty. You will love me again. Wait until you're twenty. You will love me again. And when I get to twenty, wait until you're. Sorry, it didn't happen that way. No, 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 what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? No, no, no. What actually happened was this: when she was entering her teens, I told her, "Now you're entering your teens, and you're going to start thinking I'm so stupid and I'm so dumb and I'm so this. I don't understand anything, etc., etc." I said, "I am telling you this in advance, Alia, and the reason I'm telling you this in advance is because, because it's a phase. Really no, like because it's a phase, and every it teenager goes through it. Every teenager goes through it and feels the same way about their parents." Then when she entered her teens and started behaving for a certain way, and so I was saying, "See, Mama, you don't understand. You're so silly. You're so..." I said, "See, I told you in advance. This is what you would be thinking about me in your teens." And so therefore, everyone, 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 let's clap. Let's clap for no. Come on. I'll clap for myself also. Yeah, yeah. Please clap. No, stop. Even I'm gonna clap for myself. No, no, even I'm gonna clap for myself. Yeah. And and I told her, and another thing I told her, and then I told her, Omar, and my son Omar, I told him, "See, she's going to her teens. She's gonna say this. She's gonna say this. She's gonna say this. And see, she's." doing it so when omar entered his teens i said omar please i beg you you see what actually happens to teens i beg you just be kind to me just just even if feel it just don't say it so vehemently to me just please i beg you don't put me through another whole teenage phase he's been really really good he's like 15 now and he's 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 in his own world he's in a home my poor brother is in a home with how many women are there in the house <laughs> quite a few he's six one boy with like six women <laughs> six insane women my dad so he's used to zoning out Like anything we go and around him, he'll have his headphones on and he'll be in his laptop. Like Mama and I can be screaming at each other and crying and slamming doors. He look up for a second. He look back and continue typing. <laughs> he look up again. Like okay, is everyone still alive? Okay, then go back on. And then suddenly I'll, I'll I'll go to the room and say, you know, Omar, what do you think? If a person does this, is this is this, and this is this, and he look at me and say, are you fighting with Adia again? Sasi, yeah, and she said this, and she, she said that, and she said, oh, give and me she said that. Give me love, tell me, and let me. I need attention. No. I need attention. And then, give me attention. Give me attention. It's not attention. You know, validation you know, from my point of view. And then he looks at me and says, "Mama, you and Alia go sort it out." And he goes back onto his laptop. You know, yeah. She goes for attention. She never gets it. Then she gets even sadder. Then she comes out. She gets angry at me again. We fight some more. She goes in for attention again. Doesn't get it. It's the same pattern. It's all rubbish. Basically. We have a healthy equation, which is that she is behaving like the perfect teenager, and handling myself perfectly as a mother of that teenager that's constantly attacking me. And it's a and F and baby is all about dealing with exactly this. And in our twenties, maybe the show won't be exciting anymore because we'd be agreeing on a lot of stuff and not disagreeing as much as we do today. But uh, this is a learning curve for all those parents out there that have teenage kids or who are watching this show. Think, Pooja, we identify with you because we're going through the same stuff with our children who think we're like, you know, like insufferable and that you know we don't understand them or that we're just stupid and the dismissive of us, etc. So all you parents out there that feel my pain, just know I feel your pain, and uh, they'll grow up and they'll be like. Are you going to go to Monlo again? Tell me because I want to zone out again. Twenties are coming soon.